There she is! Dinyarzad! We're back! Just as promised, Traveler and Paimon. I'm so glad that you two came back to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Indeed. The festival's tomorrow. We've been preparing for so long that I can't help but feel a little nervous. There's no need to be nervous. Paimon's sure that Lesser Lord Kusanali will feel everyone's gratitude. <laughs> Thanks, Paimon. I hope that everyone who comes to the festival will also have a good time. Speaking of which, um, did you manage to make your way to Port Ormos? Discover anything over there? Of course we went! A lot of things happened there. <sighs> I see. Sounds like you two had another exciting adventure. If there is another chance, I would love to join. <sighs> My lady, if you went to Port Ormos in your current state, we'd both be in for a lifetime of trouble. It's called covert protection. Keeping an ear out for what's going on around my employer is part of the job. It's all right, Dia. I merely said I would like to go. I know better than to think my body could handle it. <sighs> the festival's tomorrow. I've been doing nothing but causing trouble for you. So Dia, please take some time to relax. I'll be fine. Mm, even when you put it that way, it still doesn't feel right. Don't worry, my guardian knight. <sighs> okay, fine, but only tonight. Tomorrow's a big day, and many no-good scumbags are gonna try to take advantage of that. Ah! Oh, uh, you two must be exhausted from your long journey back to the city. Uh, my apologies for not realizing this sooner. I've already prepared a room for you to rest. Please follow me. I'm so ready. Here we are. It's also fairly close to where I've been staying. It looks really nice. <laughs> Not at all. It, just tell me more about your adventures when you next get the chance. That's Paimon's specialty. Paimon can tell you stories next time. Oh, if you don't mind, how about we all walk around together tomorrow? All of my friends will be working the festival, and Dia is still insisting on her covert protection. Yeah, it'll be pretty hard to relax and enjoy the festival if Dia's constantly hovering over you, right? Then let's meet at the nearby bazaar first thing tomorrow morning. Have a great night. It's a deal! Good night, Dunyarzad! I may be too excited to fall asleep tonight. See you tomorrow. Paimon started to really look forward to the Sub-Zero Festival, too! Will there be lots of yummy food? Oh, no, no. Thinking about food is just gonna keep Paimon up all night. The earlier we sleep, the better. Let's go inside, Traveler! Go meet Dunyarzad right away! Traveler, Paimon, I've been waiting for you two. Good morning, Dunyarzad. We must have overslept a little bit. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Oh, today is finally here. I must cherish every moment as if it were gold. You've worked so hard for this day. You gotta enjoy it to the fullest. <laughs> you know it. Oh, it's just that, um, as expected, I had some trouble falling asleep last night. Well, uh, shall we? Let's start with the stalls over there. Many vendors came out of the blue to support the event, and they insisted on covering costs themselves. Let's go give them some business. They pay for everything out of pocket? Oh, sounds like they're not in this just for the Mora. 
<laughs> they all said that contributing to a lively festival atmosphere is more important than money. Especially since we don't often get to celebrate Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday. Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is... a stall offering foods from the Haft Mewa feast. Oh, you could tell straight away. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Mushrooms, flowers, and all kind of fruit? It's all vegetarian stuff! Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. So, what's the Haft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's another sub -Zero's festival tradition. People used to set their tables with seven different foods. Generally speaking, the most common selections were foods like Rukushafa mushrooms, lunar lotuses, Sumero roses, sunsetias, kapalatas, hara fruits, and zaytun peaches. So, the sub -Zero festival is a vegetarian holiday? <laughs> you don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy the spread. We just use the seven foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. Wait! vegetarian food to represent the Dendro Archon, then wouldn't the Pyro Archon's festival be full of food like roasted fowl, juicy meatballs, grilled steak? Oh, Traveler, we have to go to Netlon as soon as possible! <laughs> I hope your wish comes true one day, Paimon. Thanks! Alright, how about we also check out some of these other stalls? Dear customers, would you like to try your hand at alchemical divination? What's alchemical divination? Those two things sound like they'd be fun to try together. Right? I thought the same when I first heard about it. It is said to be a mysterious craft invented by none other than Lesser Lord Kusanali herself. So, how does it work? It's quite simple. After you give me any two alchemical reagents, I'll use them to perform a random transmutation. Sure sounds random. So random that it will probably fail. That is precisely what we need. After the transmutation fails, your one and only diviner here will interpret the remnants. Well, according to Lesser Lord Kusanali, everything is interconnected. And all that occurs can be traced back to fate. You could say this is a pearl of old wisdom. Why does everything sound so much more credible when Dunya Azad says it? Are you guys working together? So that's the true wisdom behind it. This young lady sure knows her stuff. So, how about it? Want to give it a try? Okay, one moment. Hmm... It's the moon. Paimon wants to take a look too! Uh... Is it? It looks more like a pie that Paimon bit into. Hmm... Generally speaking, the moon signifies... It means... Uh... Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, I remember now. It means illusions and lies. Illusions and lies? That sounds rather ominous. Yes, but this book says that if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. He's not even trying to hide his book anymore. Naturally, fate will only ever show you the beginning of a journey. It is up to you to forge your own ending. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> uh. Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. They say the sub -Zero's festival was very lively a long, long time ago. Large flower carriages used to parade through the city. As they headed towards Port Ormos, people would throw flowers, candy, and liquor all along the way. Dunyarzad's eyes are sparkling right now! Oh, I wish I could have seen that spectacle. 
But if you ask me, I'm sure Nilu's dance of Subzeros will be just as impressive. Attention! Soldiers, fall into formation if you want any Yalda candies. It's a weird guy with a weird hat! Hey, it's two years old! Wow! <laughs> Miss Dunyarzad, the children love you even more than the Yalda candies. In the few short days it took to prepare for the Sabzeru's festival, the children have all grown very fond of you. Uh, um, the hallowed night of flowers. It's an honor that you know my name. <coughs> Attention! In the name of Ferris, the night of flowers, I commend you on your contributions to the glorious Sabzeru's festival. All right, little soldiers. Take your Yalda candies and don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, Knight Ferris! Uh, just what is going on here? <laughs> Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subzeros festival icon and one immensely popular with children. In the past, the actor portraying Ferris would also sit on a flower carriage. It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can make such wonderful memories today. As are we to you, Vihar. Oh, <laughs> not at all. Oh, speaking of tradition, do you want some Yalta candies? They're a festival staple, and I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Whichever one? Um, don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> that is the fun part. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, those all sound pretty good. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? What's up with those two flavors? Oni kabuto is a little spicier than lizard tail. Tanyarzad, you, you tried them before? Traveler, it's all right. Paima believes in you. I also believe in your intuition. Great. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Attention! That's unfortunately Lavender Melon. The Sunsetia flavored candy was in box number four. How about this? The most important thing is that everyone has a good time at the festival. So please, take both boxes. Really? Thanks a lot, Knight of Candies! It's Knight of Flowers, not Knight of Candies. <laughs> Paimon really wilted the carriageless Knight of Flowers. They all basically sound the same. We got our candy, so let's keep going. Oh, uh, actually, I just remembered that I left something behind. Um, since you're here, can you come with me to get it? Dunyarzad, you probably forgot because you're so excited about the sub Zeros Festival! <laughs> uh, how embarrassing. <laughs> We're too late. Who knew the little lady was such an early riser? I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Pause! Isn't that her? Oh, that most certainly is. We're in luck. She's walking right into our clutches. Those Aramites don't look like they're up to any good! Who are you? I don't believe the Homayanis hired you. <laughs> That's right. We haven't received any of their mora, but... I wonder how much the Humayanis would shell out to get you back. They're a gang of kidnappers! Traveler, hurry and protect Dunyarzad! Hey, did you scumbags even consider that the Homayanis might have hired a merc that outclasses you? You're... 
Dia! Dia the Flame Mane! No wonder we mercs haven't heard anything about you for so long. You sold your unruly mane to the highest bidder. Don't speak so disrespectfully. My family started working with her as gratitude for her past kindness to us. Don't worry about it, my lady. Just some friendly banter between mercs. One punch and those rabid dogs will expose themselves for what they really are. <laughs> Aren't your claws all dull by now? Don't get too cocky! Traveler, take Miss Dunyarzad to a safe location. No! We're gonna stay and help! There's too many of them! Mm, you're right. All right, fine! Please be careful, Dia. Don't waste your time worrying about me. This is my job. Look out for yourself. After I've wiped the floor with them, I'll go find you all. Dunyarzad, are you okay? You look a little pale. Are you in shock? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. My body always reacts like this whenever I exert myself too much. You sure you're okay? <sighs> I'll be fine after some rest. I'm more worried about Dia. After all, none of this would have happened if I hadn't insisted on coming out today. Yeah, don't worry. My lady, Traveler, found ya. Dia! You took care of them so fast! Any more of them? Or rather, did anyone follow you? Dia, your arm! Oh, this? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Normally, they wouldn't have been able to land a hit on me at all, but I'm still getting used to this new greatsword. Please, let me take a closer look. Come on, it's nothing. Us mercs aren't as fragile as you think. Hold on, you said something about a new greatsword? Uh, what happened to the one you were using before? Uh, about that. Well, I sold it, because I was low on Mora. Stuff like this happens every now and then. It can't be. The anonymous donation that was used for the venue's final round of preparations? <laughs> uh, hey, Miss Dunyarzad, I, I wasn't trying to make you cry. I'm, I'm not gonna lose my commission because I made my employer cry, am I? <laughs> okay, making your employer cry won't affect your commission, but selling her weapon without permission and getting hurt? I'll have to reevaluate your performance. <laughs> You're so unreasonable, my lady. <laughs> Thank you very much, dear. <sighs> Don't be like that. I get embarrassed really easily. <coughs> Are you feeling unwell again, Dunyarzad? My lady, your condition. Traveler, can you take her somewhere to rest? I'll look around the area to make sure we're safe from an ambush. Truly, I'm sorry for the trouble, everyone. Are you feeling better, Dunyarzad? <laughs> yes. Much better. Just give me a few moments and I'll be good to go. I didn't realize you were concerned about it. I guess I shouldn't continue to keep it a secret. I was actually born with Elazar. It's terminal now. Can't believe it's Elazar! 
Oh, uh, you've already heard of Elazar. In that case, you probably know about its severity. Sumero's current medical advancements still haven't been able to find a cure. The disease's progression can only be delayed through environmental therapy. Dunyarzad. There's no need to be sad. I've always lived with Elazar and I came to terms with it a long time ago. Compared to the simple fact that I'm afflicted with this, its effects on my life have been much more painful. I know that my family loves me dearly. They've done all they can to provide the best environment for me so that I can live for that much longer. However, I know I will one day succumb to this. Did you know? Before I ran away from home this time, the world outside of my home didn't even know that I existed. Since I was a child, all I could do was sit on my bed and stare at everything outside of my window. I'm sure my family's worried and disappointed in me for running away, but I... I just didn't want to have any regrets. I wanted to meet other people. To me, there's nothing more beautiful than being able to meet and speak with others. Not to mention the incredible time spent preparing for the festival. The joy on everyone's faces here, and all the support I've received from friends like Dia. This way, when my final day does arrive, it will be less sorrowful. At the very least, many people will remember that I once existed in this world, right? Uh, as long as you don't forget Paimon, Paimon also won't forget about you. Uh, no. Even if you forget Paimon, Paimon will still remember you! <laughs> oh, thank you two so much. I apologize for the depressing conversation. This is... this is out of character for me. To be honest, Lesser Lord Kusanali gave me the courage to do all of this. If it weren't for her encouragement, I wouldn't have taken that first step. Thanks. There will always be frustrations in life. But I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. Oh, right! Isn't it almost time? Huh? Almost time for what? Isn't the dance of Subzerus about to begin? It's the part of the festival that I've been looking forward to the most. Nilu will recreate that legendary scene with her most splendid dancing. And the Subzerus festival will conclude amid everyone's applause and blessings. And with that, my wish will also... Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to the stage! Yeah, we should still make it in time. Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of Subzerus is one of the key parts of the Subzerus festival. If we can't perform it, the Subzerus festival. The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the Subzerus Festival, but they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore.
When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The Sabzeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Ah. Uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's all right. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't want you to have any regrets. It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next sub festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. The next one. Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. I can't believe this is how things turned out. Those heartless geezers. It really is okay. There's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> Still, I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Milo's dance. <sighs> a lot happened today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilo and Dunyarzad promised to make the next sub Zero's festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah. All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from... at all. I arrived early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Sure! Uh, Traveler? Why are you just standing there? Let's get going! Selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is a stall offering foods from the Hoft Mewa feast. You are quite well informed, miss. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. Actually, what is the Hoft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the sub festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon. The remnants appear to be in the form of the moon. Really? Paimon thought it 
looked like some kind of food. Hmm. The moon signifies... Hmm. It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he really looking it up in a book? Oh, right. <laughs> it means illusions and lies. But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Okay, on to the next stall. So, where to next? Alright, soldiers, now that you have your Yalda candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Dismissed! Yes, Knight Ferris! What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Sub Zeris festival icon and one immensely popular with children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Knight of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes readied here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Uh, what's to pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, how interesting! And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Ugh, why do those flavors even exist? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants to eat the sunsetia flavor. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. Ha <laughs> ha! Paimon bet you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right! Huh? How's that possible? It's obviously random. Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much! Oh, it, sure. Huh? Where are you going? You're just gonna walk off like that? A feeling of... Deja vu? Oh, Paimon knows what that is! It's when you feel like you've already experienced whatever is going on. In that case... Paimon also felt something like that today. But that's just our brains playing tricks on us. So why'd you run here in such a hurry? So that's it. You're intentionally doing things you usually wouldn't and seeing if you still get that same feeling of deja vu. Welcome, you two. Are you here for lunch? What would you like to eat? Got it! You don't look like you're from these parts, but I gotta say, you got good taste! <laughs> I'll give this order to the kitchen. Coconut charcoal cake? Isn't it that... that burned thing that didn't look tasty at all? Oh, Paimon understands what you're trying to do now. You'd never normally order something like this. That thing? Are you really? 
really gonna eat it? Uh, isn't this going a bit too far? How, how was it? The look on your face is telling Paimon that it tasted awful. Then, you mean... That's impossible! We were just talking about how gross it looked! So, would this be a case of taste bud deja vu? Paimon also gets the impression that we've been here many times, even though we are regulars. Um, how about we go out again and try something else? Hey, Dinnerzad is sitting by yourself on that bench over there. What a coincidence, Dunyarzad! We meet again! Uh, why are you sitting here all by yourself? Oh, I ran into some kidnappers just now, but thankfully Dia came to my rescue. I started to feel unwell after that, so I sat down here. Kidnappers? Oh my goodness, are you hurt? I'm okay. Dia's arm got scratched, but it isn't serious. That's a big relief. But, Dunyarzad, you seem a little down today. It's the Subzerus Festival, and you've been looking forward to it so much! Not at all. I've always been like this. Excessive physical exertion or strong emotions tend to aggravate my illness. Besides, no matter how amazing today may be, it is but a single day. After however many more days, my time will come to an end. follow you, and Paimon feels like something's really got you down right now. It really is fine. I don't mind. Huh? Did something happen? Dunyarzad, have you ever felt deja vu? You know, like when you've already experienced something that's happening right now? Deja vu? No. But my days have been the same for years now. Even if I were feeling deja vu, I suppose I would already be used to it. Oh, Paimon sees. Then, is it only the two of us? It's almost time. Huh? Time for what? Nilu's Dance of Subzerus is about to begin. Let's go. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will publicly announce it later through the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. <sighs> The Subzerus Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Zod, the Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. It's okay. There's nothing we can do about it. But you've been really looking forward to this. I don't want you to have any regrets. It truly is unfortunate, but I don't want to cause trouble for anyone. Didn't the Grand Sage say that he might investigate the organizers? True, but... <sighs> well, okay. I'll just have to try again next year. 
the next festival. I probably won't be around by then. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, no, nothing. I'll be heading back to rest. Thank you for your help, everyone. Paimon can't believe what those heartless geezers did! Did Dunyarzad already go back? We should... So, in the end, you still couldn't figure out what that deja vu feeling was all about? Hmm... Maybe it really was because of exhaustion. Same here. That's why Paimon stopped thinking about it halfway through the day. Ugh. Then, how about we settle in and get a good night's sleep? For now, we can chalk things up to exhaustion. We can do more thinking tomorrow. Observing a modest drop in the output of Nyana energy, but values still remain within normal parameters. Continue to monitor the variances in the data, and find the cause as soon as possible. Not at all. I arrived early. Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kinda tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Great idea! Let's get going! Traveler? It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy the Sabzeru's festival. Oh, are you interested in Yalda candies? I have some boxes of candy here. Pick whichever one you want. Hmm, not much of a choice. All these boxes look the same. <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Mmm, they all sound pretty tasty. And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Huh? What were those last two? Mmm, she'll help me choose. Paima wants to eat the sunsetia flavor. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Oh ho! I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations! Number four is indeed Sunsetia. you already knew which flavor was in each box. What? She was right about all of them? That couldn't have been luck. How, how is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning and they've been sealed ever since. You couldn't have known beforehand. Mind reading? X-ray vision? 
or some kind of magic trick. This is way too freaky. Tell us what's going on. Since when did you get superpowers? Traveler? Hey, where are you going? What's going on? Did you see something? Us leaving Dunya aside without letting her know is kind of rude, you know. I already know that this isn't your first sub -Zero's festival, don't you? I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh... You, you know Paimon? Well... This seems kind of sketchy, but Paimon feels like this is what we should do. Oh, what the? This is our 20th time at the Sub Zero's festival? Huh? No. The 30th? 40th? Have we been trapped in a single day? If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have even realized. What the heck was inside that knowledge capsule? Hmm. Your memories are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation, you two received the blessing of Dendro, and you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. 
The Tinyarizad you were just with is different from the first Tinyarizad you met. That first Tinyarizad is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait, please don't tell Paimon even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface-level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each Sub-Zero's festival. If we can break out of the Samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> Analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so, with what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? I've already experienced the sub zeru's festival many times. And... The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. should be it. The flow of time is endlessly cycling within one single day. A time loop. You've given similarly wrong answers in the past. A pity. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't give you any more hints. <coughs> Dunyarzad! The sub festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry, and find the truth before today's festival ends. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunyarzad, we have to escape the Samsara of the sub festival. And to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so... We must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but... Let's go talk to people again. 
It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Mm. Why don't we start with those stall owners? Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... Uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um... To put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday? Did you actually come back from the forest yesterday? What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Are you two daydreaming? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. <laughs> has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Hmm. True. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. <laughs> 